site specific is already a good description. It is um, a lot of people call it land art, which I, um, I'm a little bit skeptic about this um, term because it is used nowadays for too many things. It's uh, for me very inter uh, interesting and important uh, um, development in art in the 60s, the land art movement. But I prefer site specific because um, for me it doesn't matter if it is in the nature or in the city or inside or outside. I, um, I'm interested to work with, uh, with the space and with the surrounding, with the architecture or whatever kind of things are around. Traditionally sculpture is maybe more made in a, in a studio and then put somewhere. And I go first somewhere and then I develop my, my thing for the, for the place. I start with drawings and um, I mean actually I start with walking and uh, researching and so and then start to make some drawings, some sketches and then what I like very much too much is to work with Photoshop and make a photo montage. This is an interesting process because I, I see already how the work is working with the surrounding, with the, with the place. And uh, it's a moment I have to start thinking about how to do it and uh, what kind of support it needs or something like this. Yeah, it's a dialogue, really, yeah. Sometimes also a struggle, sometimes, yeah, it's, it's a dialogue, yeah, you can say. Sometimes also change, I, I have an idea at one place and I realize it maybe a little bit later at another place where it is even more interesting. So it's not so predictable, this thing. I mean, of course, I'm also looking for constellations, um, like axes uh, where you can look or constellations of trees or hills or I'm very um, interested also in architecture so if there is I'm attracted to if there is a fragment of a, of a gate for example or if there is a bridge or this kind of things or a bench or human made things uh, I like to connect to this things also. Sometimes people ask me what, what you want to say and I say, okay, I could um, economize, you say, a, a lot of sweat if I, <laughs> if I could say what I'm doing in words, but I do it in an image, which is sometimes difficult to do. And uh, that's it, and uh, people should uh, just take it and do their own stories. But okay, mm, but there are of course some basic issues in my work. One is, for example, movement. Um, some, a lot of my works is like a time uh, film still, like a still image, yeah. And then people can, uh, I don't know, you can um, continue the movement in, in both directions. Like, for example, I did a lot of things which kind of dissolve and there are always, um, there are often two groups of people. One say it's going down, the other say it's going up. And I like this, I like to be in the middle. Um, I, this is the zero point, like between breathing in, breathing out. It is, uh, it's the movement which stops in the moment. But it continues in the imagination and that fascinates me. And if you speak about movement, you speak about time also. This is a very interesting issue for me. I am not asked to, to do a work for Serenby. It is more for Chattahoochee Hills, which is the bigger uh, region. And I found some, some very nice and beautiful spots also. I was asked to come here for this month to develop proposals for this uh, work and uh, if everything is good with, hope so, cross the fingers, with the funding and so on, I will come back next year for, for realizing and that would be nice of course. <laughs>